Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to do complete end-to-end -end data bricks project. Okay, this will be based on the real-time scenario. So we have a business use case on which we actually we will work and we will try to solve some of the analytics requirement and that is how actually in a real world also we work okay so before starting if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe okay let us start with our today's practical okay so we have one of the business use case so we have a data available in amazon s3 location okay and we want to connect the data breaks to the amazon s3 okay and we need to do an analysis based on the data which is available into amazon s3 location so first thing what actually we will do we will go to the amazon s3 location we will create a bucket we will store our data and then we will try to connect our data bricks to our amazon s3 and we will try to do an analysis based on the data okay the data we have in a csv format and we what actually we will do we will convert that uh, file in into our data bricks into a table format and in that table actually with the help of the spark sql we will try to create some kind of the query and we will, we will try to create our matrices and we will do an analysis okay as of now the basic analytics requirement which we have is like how many so this the data is based on the covid okay so the analytics requirement which we are going to solve is like how many do total dose has been done the state wise the dose has been completed top 10 state where actually the covid dose has been completed the number of the first dose second dose has been done based on the states so we will do analytics based on the data okay so first thing what actually i am going to do i am going to open my data bricks okay in a data bricks first thing what actually we will do we will we will create a one cluster because this cluster will take a time okay so what actually we will do we will try to create a cluster i am giving a cluster name as a testing one okay and by default it is giving a 15 gb memory free so we will try to create this cluster okay so now the you can see cluster is now creating so till then what actually we will do we will open a amazon s3 aws okay in an once you will open a aws console what you have to search we have to search for the s3 okay open a s3 okay we will create a new bucket okay so as of now i am giving a bucket name as a testing four five six seven eight anything whatever you want you can give okay and what actually we have to do the region is a north virginia okay and the rest of the thing i am going with a by default and we need to click on this create bucket okay once you will create a bucket what actually we will do we will try to upload a file click on this bucket okay and click on this upload button click on the add file and uh, my file is available into a employee covid vaccine and state wise so this is a particular data which actually i am going to upload okay now once you will do that click on this upload button so the file will get uploaded you can see the total remaining is you can see upload is now succeeded okay click on this close button okay so this is the file which is now available in our bucket so our bucket name is this testing 48 something and under this bucket we have a this particular file okay if you want to see this file so this file look like this so we have a date we have a state we have a how many total doses has been done for the covid we have a session we have a side we have a first dose second dose male dose female dose uh, transgender dose co co vaccine dose covid shield so this is all the covid related data which we have and based on that actually we are going to do an analysis okay what actually we will do we will try to connect this our amazon s3 this location to our data bricks okay and then we will do an analysis so you can see our cluster is now created okay now what actually we will do go to the uh, data and uh, so for to connect to a data bricks to a amazon s3 we should have a aws access key so for that what actually we have to do we have to go to the im okay go to the im okay in im go to the user 
and uh, click on the add user i am giving a add user name as a employee okay and the programmatic access i am clicking and next permission attach existing policy i am giving as administrator access click on the next tab okay next review and after that you will get a uh, access key id and the secret access key so make sure you will download this okay uh, you can see new user credential dot csv is getting downloaded and the username is employee okay now with the help of this csv file we are actually trying to connect to our databricks so for that what actually we will do we will go to this data click on this create table okay now you can upload the file whatever the user file you have downloaded right we will try to upload uh, this is a particular file we have downloaded okay so this is the file actually i have loaded and this file is available into file store tables and this new user.csv okay now let's just go to our workspace so so there there are some uh, python script which we have to run okay uh, if you want to connect okay first thing what okay once you will open this file okay so we have a python script with the help of that we have a command like dbutils.fs.ls and this will list all your file whatever we have loaded till now okay so these are the file which we have loaded till now but uh, right now we have loaded this file like new user credential.csv for our s3 bucket right just copy this okay after that we have to mount to the amazon s3 location so for that these are the library which we have to import okay and uh, we have to what actually we are going to do we are going to create a data frame and we have to pass this credential there uh, this particular file name okay after that we have to execute and uh, username is employee okay in a while creating a user we have given an employee as a uh, user right after that actually what actually we are going to do we are going to encode uh, encrypt this uh, secret access key and all because this is very uh, critical right we don't want to show it to anyone that's why we are converting into a data frame and uh, from the security purpose we are actually trying to mount it and uh, we we are actually going to see our uh, amazon s3 location okay this is the particular script i will uh, share with you so that you can also also use in the similar way uh, and what actually we have to do we have to go to the amazon location and what is our s3 bucket name go to the amazon s3 so this is the bucket name which we have and uh, in in this um, uh, bucket name we have to pass this okay and we want to mount this in particular location and we have to execute this query if it will be true then mean, means you are it is mounted successfully okay it is still running so we have to wait so to connect to the data bricks to a s3 location that is one time activity okay so these are the thing we have to follow at least one time after that uh, once it is mounted successfully we can access our data okay so let us quickly try to mount it and let us quickly try to convert into a table then we will start our analysis okay you can see it is mounted successfully and we can see we have a covid vaccine this particular file right this is this is the file actually we want to analyze so we have to pass this location okay this file location now with the help of uh, 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 pyspark actually we are converting into a data frame and then we will convert into a table okay so let us see what is the error you can see the it is showing like uh, the path must be absolute okay so i think there is some issue with the path let's see what is the issue let us see if we can use this 
okay this is the location which we have to pass and let's try to run whether it's working or not okay now with with this query what actually happening we are actually passing the file location and our file is csv file right and the infer schema is true because by default it will select the your schema first row is header because in csv file our first row is header that's why we are selecting as a true delimiter is comma and this is the data frame which we are creating with the help of spark.read.format and dot option and dot load the file location and we are converting into a data frame this data actually look like this we have updated on state and all so we are uh, successfully con able to convert our data into a, uh, a table format or data frame format now what actually we will do we will try to convert this into a table format so how actually we will we can convert uh, the data frame into a, a table format with the help of this query so df is the data frame which we have this and we have to use df.write.mode overwrite and we want to save as table as an employee in an employee table we want to save once you will execute in an employee table it will get saved okay now if you will see i think there is some problem okay so uh, if in your data set if you have a, a data set like this okay and in this data set if you will see we have a column where updated after that we have a space similarly we have a 45 60 and then space means if you have a space kind of the column if you have then if you will try to converge this, this data frame into a sql so that you will get an error so for that what actually you have to do first is that you have to use this command okay uh, in this command watch actually we are doing with column rename you can rename your column if you have unwanted space and all that actually you can remove so I have already done that that part actually I have skipped that so that we can save it and we can uh, move to the our analytics part okay after that once you will use this command after that we have one command like df2.write.mode overwrite and we can save table as a any table name you have to pause so this will convert your data frame into a uh, table okay and after that uh, i am using a df2 dot column okay now our table is now ready if you want to query now we can use our sql query okay if i will use select star from covid okay you will get to see uh, our table is now ready okay it is executing okay and here only we will do a analytics okay now our table is now ready now here we can use our all our uh, sql command and we can do an analysis okay now you can see we have updated state total dose and all now we can start our analytics so our first requirement is like we have to find out how many total dose has been done okay so if you will see uh, we have a total doses column okay now we have to so if you will click here so total the first matrix is like total dose completed okay now to go, to get that what actually we uh, we will do okay if you because we have created this uh, notebook in a python if you want to use a sql command so you have to use a percent sql okay so that it will uh, also take your sql query so what actually we are going to do we are going to find out some of the total doses some of the total doses okay from the covid table once you will execute that you will get okay t is missing some of the total doses from a covid so this will give you like this many total doses has been completed till date okay whatever the data we have now what actually we want to do we want to go find out based on the state where actually it has been done so in our table you can see we have a state column right so let's try to see based on the state and let's try to do an analysis so what actually i'm using select some of the total doses state from covid and the group by uh, group by based on the group by second now if you will see you will get a, a total doses based on the your state you can see in nagaland we have uh, this many 
सेम वॉइस द कर्नाटका ओडिशा केरला यू विल गेट ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट एनालिसिस इज लाइक स्टेट वाइज डोज कम्पलीशन ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन टॉप टेन स्टेट वी आर द मैक्सिमम डोज कम्पलीटेड सो लेट एस ट्राई टू डू दिस ओके सो वाट एक्चुअली वी विल डू टॉप टेन स्टेट ओके टॉप टेन स्टेट टॉप टेन स्टेट वेयर डोज हैज बीन कम्पलीटेड ओके सो वाट एक्चुअली वी विल डू सो वी हैव दिस क्वेरी ओके in this query uh, if i will do like this uh, uh group by 2 and uh, order by order by uh, some of the total doses okay if i will execute this let's see whether we are getting error or what okay order by and we want to order based on the descending so what actually it will so where actually the maximum dose has been completed that actually it will filter it out you can see we have a state as a india also coming so sometime it happens is like in your data set where you have a irrelevant things and all because uh, irrelevant data so that you had to exclude also right so let us uh, try to remove this where state is not in and like this you can pass and you can write india okay i think it is uh, where state not in where state not in india so this will give you the top from here actually you will get it will actually it is actually sorting out your all the state based on the maximum doses but what actually we want we want only the top 10 right so if you will write a limit uh, 10 also that also we will give you let us see whether it's working or not you can see we have a top 10 uh, where the maximum dose has been completed so this is the one query similar on the gender let us try to do gender wise dose if you will see in our column in a separate column we have a male female and the transgender okay but in that case actually if you want to know uh, so how actually we can do we will see that okay if i will do select sum of uh, uh male dose okay sum of uh, male dose okay from covid let us see what actually it will give uh i think male dose invalid syntax okay because uh, we have to write as sql also because we are using a python notebook so this is giving me a male okay but uh, also we want to find out some of uh, female dose also and uh, we also want to find out dose also okay now in this query you will get to know how many actually has been done okay similarly if you want to find out any kind of the analytics you can do it like we how many total co vaccine has been done how many total covid shield has been done so this kind of the analytics we can do and that actually we do in a real time okay so yeah that's it in this video